Welcome to our video. Today, we're delving into the life of a remarkable individual, General Tommy Ray Franks, a retired four-star general of the United States Army. From his birth in Winterwood, Oklahoma, to his upbringing in Midland, Texas, and his transformative journey in the military, will journey through his life, filled with highs and lows, his notable service during the War on Terror, and his post-military endeavors. So sit back, relax, and join us as we explore the dynamic life and career of General Franks. Let's jump right in. Born in the middle of the last century on June 17, 1945, to be exact, emerged a figure of notable military stature, General Tommy Ray Franks, a man, now retired, with the stars of a four-star general from the United States Army pinned to his lapel. A Midland, Texas upbringing became his crucible, after the tranquility of his birthplace, Windowood, Oklahoma. This narrative of his life shall echo his military career, filled with a symphony of highs and lows, and peppered with details of his time as the U.S. Central Command's commander during the infancy of the War on Terror. 1963 painted a pivotal picture in Frank's life. Midland's Robert E. Lee High School saw him don the cap and gown. Even as the trials of life beset him, the young Franks, in his pre-military life, did not immediately gravitate towards a career in uniform. It was only a chance encounter with an army recruiter that ignited the spark of service in him. Life then took him to the University of Texas at Austin. A two-year academic adventure later, Franks traded his books for boots, pledging his allegiance to the United States Army. The military green of Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, bore witness to his transformation during basic training. He soon entered officer candidate school, emerging as a second lieutenant in the year 1967. Vietnam awaited him, where he tested his mettle as a forward observer and a fire direction officer. Post-Vietnam, the military continued to call to Franks. He served, he grew, he climbed through the ranks. The 1st Cavalry Division saw him in the role of assistant division commander during the Gulf War. His strategic prowess came to the fore as he masterminded the ground offensive that culminated in Iraq's defeat. The year 2000 dawned with a new role for Franks. He ascended to the position of the U.S. Central Command's commander. His purview? The orchestration of U.S. military operations across a vast expanse, spanning 25 countries and significantly the Middle East. When the infamous day of September 11, 2001, cast its dark shadow, Franks responded with the invasion of Afghanistan. His mission? To dismantle the twin forces of Al-Qaeda and the Taliban regime. Fast forward to 2003, and Franks was at the helm of Operation Iraqi Freedom, leading the charge to topple Saddam Hussein's regime. Despite the military triumphs, Franks' career was not without its thorns. He weathered the storm of criticism that came his way for the perceived lack of planning for the post-war period. The challenges of the subsequent occupation and insurgency proved a tough nut to crack. In 2003, Franks bid his military life adieu after a remarkable 36-year run. His post-retirement life saw the birth of his memoir, American Soldier, and his foray into the worlds of business and charity. His service earned him the Presidential Medal of Freedom, presented by President George W. Bush in 2004. His military journey, marked by his unambiguous, straightforward style, and his emphasis on speed, flexibility, and adaptability, earned him respect within military circles. Controversy and acclaim intertwined in his career, reflecting the complexity and the burstiness of his life and leadership. And that, dear viewers, brings us to the end of our journey through the life of General Tommy Ray Franks. His story of service, leadership, and adaptability resonates as a testament to the complexities and variations of a military life. Though met with both acclaim and controversy, his strategic acumen remains widely respected within military circles. We hope you found this look into General Frank's life as fascinating as we did. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more captivating stories like this one. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.